Hey guys and welcome to the Zoom In TV Community Game of the Year Awards. And this is our first live show ever and uh, you might be wondering who the hell are we? Well, we are the guys behind the channel. My name is Tim. My name is Robert. And you already know Tara, of course, and the sexy voiceover lady won't be joining us, so we're sorry about that. But um, yeah, we wanted to get more involved with you guys on a more personal level and do more live stuff in the future. And uh, yeah, this is the first show of, uh, of that kind. So um, yeah, let's, let, let's talk about um, the games, right? Yeah, yeah. To be honest, I think 2013 has been, okay, I can't swear, but it's been awesome. It's been, been an awesome good year. year. Good year for gaming, definitely. And what is your personal favorite? Um, well, I'm going to say uh, it's actually DLC. It was, it's, uh, it's, it's Blood Dragon. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, he, he has been talking about that game yeah. a lot. Every time, I've been asking this question more often. I've, I've been asking it every month. What's your favorite game? What's your favorite game? Every time he says Blood Dragon, and I don't understand it. I mean, well, it's a DLC game. I mean, we've got let AC. Me, let me explain. I mean, of course, it's not the game of the year. I know that. But it was an amazing piece of DLC. Um, I loved it, basically, because it was all about 80s uh, action movies, in a way. And um, yeah, I just loved every second of it. I did all the side objectives, uh, just finished the whole thing, and loved it. But of course, it's not my game of the year, but it's, it's, it's a highlight. It's okay, okay. But you liked it because, because of the, um, the, the 80s vibe? Yeah, the 80s vibe, the graphics. Uh, I loved Hunting the Dragons. Uh, it was also around the time I got a brand new PC, so that might have helped as well. But <laughs> It was just, yeah, it was just a lot of fun to play and uh, just something I really enjoyed this year. Yeah. So, but what, what was your personal highlight? Well, my per I've been really busy with Kickstarter this year. Um, uh, I'm like, I'm sort of like the, the, indie, uh, the indie guy of, of the two of us. And I've been supporting uh, the Game Stick, I've been supporting the Ouya. And, uh, and how for has me, that been for you <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so you, far? You've, he's been laughing. No, no, show, show, show your wrist to the audience first. What's yeah, there's a I got a pebble. I got a pebble. But um, yeah, I've been supporting Kickstarter projects a lot. And uh, for me, uh, just the indie community as a whole uh, is, is my highlight. There's been so much cool stuff coming out. And there's so much cool stuff in development right now. Um, yeah. It's, it's been an amazing year for the indie community, and I think that's basically is my highlight. It's a bit, a bit bigger than, than your DLC. It is, I mean, yeah. He likes DLC, I, I like the indie community, but... Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's all about good games, right? So, so what, what are some of the titles you really enjoyed, some indie titles? Some indie titles I really enjoyed. Let me see, let me see. Uh, Papers, Please was a, was a okay. really cool game. I uh, still don't, didn't finish it, but I just love the concept of the... Um, the simple graphics and the and, and the yes in some weird way deep storyline it's like this pol sort of political message or something like that in it and I just like um, the way the, uh, those kind of games make you sort of think about stuff I mean it's of course you know when you play Call of Duty you don't think you just shoot and yeah and because yeah. it's indie and maybe and maybe it's a bit hypocrite I don't know but um, yeah uh, um, I always think there's some more there's more thought behind it and that's probably not true anyway but that's how i feel about it yeah but would you say that's your overall game of the year <laughs> <laughs> no. papers please no 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 no, no yeah no my my, over, my overall game of the year um is something that's uh that's in the list it's in it's in the list that we will present later and, okay uh, cool uh, yeah um so we also have to say hi for tara of course um, as you might have noticed already, we are actually Dutch, uh, and this is being broadcast from Amsterdam. Uh, Tara is from the States, of course, and uh, she's been working with us for over a year now, uh, remotely. Uh, no, not not, no, no, not no, over no. a year. She started in, in February, right? It's been more than a year now. Really? Yeah, yeah I think so. Or not? No, it's just well, started, it, feel, it feels started... like a long time anyway. Yeah, too but, long. Yeah. yeah, no, no, but um, we really like her and we want to do more stuff with her next year if you guys uh, want that as well. 
But um, yeah, she's not here. So there was some confusion about who is Zoom In Games. Well, we're actually a Dutch company, uh, but we work a lot with uh, international people yeah. since we're an international YouTube channel. So um, yeah, maybe at some point we'll even show you the voiceover lady who is actually in house. So uh, yeah, her name is. No, no, don't, no, no, don't, no, I'm don't not, tell. I'm not gonna, don't tell. I'm not, don't tell. Keep, next, it, keep it a secret. Yeah, ne next year, maybe. Just, just one thing. She's not a computer. Just, no, I, just, no. I just well, want to yeah. make it clear. There's she's that. not a computer. Okay, so let's go to the first game. Five. Battlefield Four. Battlefield 4 had a few problems when it launched, but that didn't stop 6,000 of you guys from voting for it. The awesome graphics, addictive multiplayer mode, and incredible sound design make it a worthy entry on this list. <coughs> okay, so Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4. Oh, this is a VGX joke yeah. we wanted to make. <laughs> So, yeah. those who know, know. Yeah. Um, I'm not Jeff Keighley, by the way, but okay, continue. I'm not, I'm not Joel, no. whatever his name is. McHale. McHale, yeah. yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, Battlefield 4, it's a controversial entry, I think, because yep. there were a lot of problems. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm actually surprised. Yeah. It's, it's weird, though, because, like, Battlefield always gets, uh, just like Call of Duty, there's, like, a dedicated hardcore fan base. Uh, but this year's entry, I have to say, was really sloppy. I mean, you had all the online issues, uh, game crashes. Yeah, and, um, and they still exist. It's even the biggest problem. Yeah, I think right now investors are actually suing EA over the game because of yeah. something Peter Moore said, like, we don't ship broken products or whatever. I don't know the exact quote, but, no, but he apparently said they were actually shipping a game and, uh, or a yeah, complete game, let's say. Bug free. Or, yeah, a working game. Work, yeah. And, and Battlefield 4 isn't working for all games. It isn't. It isn't. And what amazes me the most is um, that you guys actually did vote for it. So either you're not having the, uh, the same problems as, uh, as, as the people complaining on the forums, or you just really like Battlefield. You, you're fanboys. Yeah. It, uh, you're Battlefield fanboys. That, and I have that, to say, that's what this is. <laughs> I played uh, the PS4 version, actually. Yeah. And the game looks amazing. The yeah. graphics are beautiful. The explosions, especially on, on like a, a good gaming PC or or a PS4 or Xbox One as well, uh, are amazing. Yeah. So it is a spectacle. It looks great. The 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 multiplayer when it works is the best. I think I I enjoy Battlefield's multiplayer more than Call of Duty's. Yeah, I I agree. I played the Xbox 360 version. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I loved it. I mean, it's, of course, the story is kind of plain, but just the action itself, it's, it's really cool and it looks beautiful. It yeah, looks beautiful. it does. But then, on the other hand, it's a shame that it has this many uh, problems. For uh, so many people. Well. For so many people, yeah. So this is a difficult one, I have to say. Um, and that's maybe why it's only fifth place. So it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's just it's, the fifth place. It so. is the fifth place, but... I mean, it's almost number yeah. six. It almost didn't make the top five. You're right, but still, it, Blood Dragon could have made the top five. <laughs> No, that thing actually worked, but yeah, um, it is a good game. Not sure if it belongs in the top five, if no. if it was like my personal choice. But um, yeah, you have to respect the work Dice Dice did, um, and um, let's hope they don't rush next year's Battlefield because that would be a shame. I yeah, mean, the, the series deserves better, right? It yeah, is a the, great, and series. this is probably a fuck. Uh, mess up. <laughs> no, we we probably, can swear. We, this is probably we, this. Let's let's just agree that we can swear on our live okay. stream. Yeah. Okay. We, so we can swear on our live stream. Yeah. So. Okay. So we can fuck. Uh, we can fuck up. Yeah. We can fuck up as well. Yeah. So, just as bad as so, dice. So. Oh yeah. But dice fucked up probably just because of the uh, the next gen. You know, next gen is coming. We need to rush it. We need to make it work yeah. for next gen, and then no, and, and, then and they, mess they, up. they needed to beat Call of Duty. But on the other hand, it is a great game. Uh, yeah. Like like I said, it looks great. Yeah. Uh, when it works, it is just the most addictive gameplay you can ask for, I think. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's among the best of FPS games, but it needs to work. Now let's see if Call of Duty is our number three. No, number five. four. Yeah. Four. Bioshock Infinite. 
Is there a dimension in which Bioshock Infinite wins Game of the Year? Maybe, but it's not the one we're living in. Booker and Elizabeth's epic story did get eight and a half thousand votes, however, and that's nothing to be ashamed of. Go. Let's go! Come on, let's go! Come on, let's go right now! Okay, awesome. Bioshock Infinite is our, our number four. It's one, it's one actually, in early this year when the game was released, it was one of my favorite games. It was, it was so highly anticipated. Yeah, and uh, it was delayed a couple of times. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But I think in the end it uh, delivered on what it set out to do. I mean, it is. I know a lot of people were disappointed uh, by the game in some way because they had like really high hopes because they really loved Bioshock, and they thought like the shooting mechanics were maybe a little bit outdated. Uh, uh, yeah. The gameplay. Yeah. I mean, the world is great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. the, the art style and, and, and I think the whole setting, I think you, you can't argue, you, you can't hope for, for, for more no. creative um, world, let's say. No, I, I, don't, I don't think there's, there are a lot of games released this year that, that, that presented a better, more beautiful and um, um, worked out world than Bioshock Infinite had. I mean, Irrational made, did such a good job on that. Yeah. From, from sound design to, to visual effects to to just um, uh, artwork they use, it's, it's so beautiful, it's so well done. Yeah, it is. But, uh, I mean, of course, I played it as well and I loved it, but I do have to agree the mechanics uh, of the game were maybe a little bit, I wouldn't say outdated, but, you know, it didn't feel... I, it was, it's not the main reason why I played the game, let's say. No, no, so, but... It's, it, it wasn't and it didn't new. bother me in the uh, original Bioshock. No, but in the original Bioshock, well, it, it was it was because it was you know, it was new. Yeah, I mean that's five years ago. Yeah, yeah. So and they actually used the same mechanics this yeah. time once again, and yeah, and I agree. I mean the enemies were maybe uh, not always as challenging as you would expect from more modern games, but still, I, I, I freaking love that game. Yeah, definitely. I mean the the story is great. Um, there's a I don't think that spoils anything, but there is a twist. <laughs> Let's say yeah. there yeah, is a okay. twist. Let's not spoil it. Maybe, no, there no, are, no, maybe, no. maybe there are people out there who who say we are like, oh, okay, I'm going to buy every game, zooming games, puts in there till five. I mean, you knows? should, <laughs> you should. But uh, I think most people played the game anyway, and yeah, there there is a really really cool twist to the story. Um, yeah. I loved Elizabeth. Yeah, I Elizabeth. thought she was a great addition yeah. to the game. Yeah. Uh, not only for the uh, for the story, but also um, she was actually helpful. She was like a yeah. helpful NPC, which you yeah. never see. She's like she she's the the paperclip, like in, in like in in the past, you had, in Word, you had like the paperclip who gave right. you tips. Yeah, uh, she's the paperclip. If the paperclip in, threw guns, so, yeah, guns yeah. at you and and, yeah. and gave you money, yeah, 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 yeah uh, definitely. My paperclip actually did that. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. it's pretty cool. That is that is. No, 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 but uh, yeah, Elizabeth is awesome. Yeah, so I, I, yeah, I, I have to agree. I mean, um, is it my number four game of the year? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Mm, maybe a bit higher, but yeah, it's, it's definitely in my top five. Yeah. 100%, without a doubt. So I agree on this one, guys. Approved. Okay, now let's, so, let's go to... Uh, number three. The next one. Which is... <laughs> yeah. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag We've been waiting for the perfect pirate game for years and Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag finally gave it to us. 9,000 gamers wanted Captain Kenway to plunder the Game of the Year award but he has to settle with third place. Okay, AC. There it is. AC Black Flag. Yeah. I remember, like, earlier this year, I think it was after E3, right? You were so excited about that game. Yeah, I mean, I've been uh, really a fan of this new AC since, since the uh, first, I think, leaked poster of, of, of the whole Black Flag thing. Because pirates. Because pirates. Yeah, that's, 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 that's all we can say. Okay, all... now let's go to number two. Well, okay, yeah, no, no <laughs> hang on. No, I... I, I'm, I I actually finished the game uh, yesterday, but that's only the story, and there's so much to do in this game. I mean, you have like all the hunting 
and um, capturing the uh, what are they called naval uh, bases or whatever the, the forts the naval yeah, forts. Yeah. I mean that stuff is straight out of Far Cry Three, and yeah, I loved and it. it. I loved it yeah. in Far Cry. I loved it in Blood Dragon as well, as you might know. But uh, that's all in there. That's all in there. Plus, you have the naval combat, which is awesome. Uh, what else? There's so much stuff to do. You have the diving missions. Uh, you can um, hunt on. Uh, I mean, you can um, um, fish, right? Whale. Awesome. You can fish. Yeah. Well. It uh, is. Yeah. It is pretty awesome. Yeah. Okay, and I, I, I have to say, I played it on the uh, PS4 again, and it looks absolutely great. Yeah. Once again, I didn't play it next gen. I played it. Um, yeah, I played it on PS PS3, I think. Right. I'm not sure, but I, I played it uh, on the current gen, and uh, yeah, I love it as well. I love it, but I'm getting, to be honest, I'm getting a bit bored by the whole sea in the middle. And you need to cross all the way to the other side to get to the next story part. Yeah, but here's the thing. Fast travel. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> but I, I don't want to use fast travel yeah. because I want to. Yeah, I think that's like a lazy cheat. So I want to. I want to cross the ocean, but then t crossing the ocean takes a long yeah. time. Uh, and then. Yeah. But what happens when you uh, cross the ocean? They, yeah. they start singing. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty and that's cool. That's amazing. And, yeah. And, uh, okay. There, there's some. Okay. Talk about singing. One of the things I hate is chasing the songs. Chasing those, yeah, yeah I, I, I think it's ridiculous. I thought you were gonna say maybe the um, the um, the missions where you have to tail someone. Mm. I mean, that's that's the type of stuff where I was like, okay, AC, let's let's come up with some some new game mechanic. Yes, the but, the, but actually, the, the, yeah. the thing I liked kind of about it is that when you when you're tailing and you see like the sound um, um, graphs, you know, the, the, they give indication. A better indication of um, you're you're getting out of reach. And I kind of like, but I agree. I mean, just it is just following people weird is, is when is you're lame. when you're like, I mean, uh, you're blowing up ships. You're, you're you're like catching white whales, and then all of a sudden it's like, okay, walk behind this guy for five minutes straight yeah. Yeah. and listen to some yeah. drunken talk right. until after five minutes they say, oh, let's go into the house of the captain, and then. You know, yeah. oh, the captain lives there. You know, something is, like that. Yeah, this is also what I didn't enjoy in uh, Assassin's Creed 3. But I mean, I have to say they did tone it down for this game. There's, there's much lo less of that stuff in this one, but it's still there. Yeah. So, it is. But of course, you are an assassin. I mean, you, you're not supposed to, you're not, you're not Rambo. No. Uh, you no I, I, sometimes, I get it. sometimes, I get Kenway it. acts a bit like Rambo, but I mean, you're an assassin. You're yeah. supposed to be sneaking around and killing people. Following people, so in the essence, it is Assassin's Creed. Oh, definitely, definitely. But yeah, like, like I said before, I think this is the ultimate uh, pirate game. Can we can we agree that it's at least yeah. the old, the best pirate game ever? Yeah, yeah, Agre agreed upon. Yeah, definitely. Cool. So for that reason alone, go get it. R. Yeah. Pirates, cool. Yeah, right. They're still cool, right? Or ninjas, or both. Who will win, pirates or ninjas? I don't know. It's uh, that it's like yeah. something from four years ago. But yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm into old stuff and indie. Okay, let's go to number two. The Last of Us. The Last of Us made a lasting impression on 11,000 gamers that wanted it to win Game of the Year. Naughty Dog's masterpiece told the emotional story of Ellie and Joel through amazing artwork and rock-solid gameplay. The PS3 couldn't have asked for a more beautiful send-off. Now, now, Ellie, that ain't for kids. Whoa! How, how the hell would he even walk around with that thing? Get rid of that. Now, hold Just... your horses. I want to see what all the fuss is about. Oh, why are these all stuck together? Okay, The Last of Us. Awesome, very cool game. I haven't played it, but I know Tim played it. So, what is the reason this game ends up at the number two of our list? Well, I'm actually going to say it should have been number one. It should have been number one? It should have been number one. And I think a lot of people will agree with me on this. It is one of the most... Um, I, let's say it's a game that made a lasting impression on me. This is a game I will still remember in uh, four years' time. So it is that good, it, and it, it's it's not just the mechanics. It's it's not just the the emotional story. It's the whole package. It's it's like 
And that's what's perfect about it. It's like at the very end of the life cycle of the uh, PS3. And I mean, it is just the perfect game to, 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 to say goodbye to that old friend, I think. And uh, <laughs> yeah, Xbox owners should be jealous because it is an amazing, amazing game. And the thing is, it is really depressing, which you think like, okay, why am I playing this really dark, depressing game? Right? This is not fun. I'm not having fun. But uh, I love that because that's just like going to a movie that is maybe about a depressing subject or reading a book about something that yeah. isn't always about it, fun it, stuff. But it, but it really captivates you. It, it, cap it, ca it, ca it captures you and yeah. it doesn't let go. Yeah, what? definitely, definitely. And um, well, the, the beginning is just amazing. I mean, I won't spoil anything, but the first... 15 minutes it's like one of the best opening sequences I've I've ever seen to be honest and the end is also really good and um, yeah that really helps um, yeah helps you remember the game but it's it's funny it's funny because this game is uh, it's only single player yeah there's no multiplayer no no no, no there, there is a multiplayer yeah okay but is it is it it is, it is, is, it, is it worth mentioning it? Yeah, yeah. It is a good. I mean, it's just like the Uncharted games. They also had multiplayer. Uh, well, at least I think three had multiplayer. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. At least the last ones. Yeah, two and three. Okay, and uh, that was really fun. And this is more like that, but even more gruesome. Uh, and it is a fun multiplayer, but it, it it wasn't the reason why I played the game, of course. But it is it is functional and it is it is fun as well. So and it works. It does. Yeah. And then, no, it's, 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 it's it not, works. It's, yeah. it's not Battlefield 4. <laughs> no, no. But it's a different game as well. But, but yeah, I, I have to say The Last of Us is my number, well, next to Blood Dragon, of course. It's my favorite game of the year. And if you have to choose Blood Dragon or Last of Us? Well, then I have to choose between fun and just a really... Something that made you cry. Well... Yeah. <laughs> no, I just yeah, that's 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 difficult. But I think yeah, what what what, what Naughty Dog did with The Last of Us is you have like to choose. I'm I'm going to go with um, The Last of Us. Okay. So you don't like Blood Dragon. No, I don't. I don't. I really don't. I also don't like The Witcher 3 and uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching the VGX. No, but yeah, I just I mean you haven't played it, and no. I strongly uh, yeah, suggest I that you that you get on that. I, I, I still have to play it, and I, I'm keeping my PS3 just to make sure I will buy that game and play it. Well, that's the thing, actually. I would love to see a PS4 version of this game in 1080p. Uh, the frame rate... I mean, the game gets a little framey from time to time okay. on the PS3. It is, but the graphics are just amazing. It is a next-gen game on a current or a last-gen system. It really is. Okay. Yeah. What, what I've seen from the trailers and and the, you know at the conventions and stuff, it, it's a beautiful game. I, I I fully agree. Yeah, it is. And uh, yeah, the story is good as well. So it should have been number one, but I'm happy it's it's uh, number two. At least it's not almost almost made it. Yeah. This this kind of makes it easy to guess what will be number one. Yeah. Right? What will it be? Right. I mean. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I I think it's Super Mario. Yeah, probably because of all the Wii U owners out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. There's so many. Voting. There's so many Wii U people right. watching our channel. Right. Yeah, and and Nintendo is especially really popular on YouTube. Yeah, you can you can make all the videos and have no claims or anything. <laughs> yeah, on it. yeah. And yeah, they are. They, they are, are really relaxed on copyright stuff. Nintendo yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. They um, they don't bother at all. You can just do whatever you want, and they are like, oh sure, you want to use Mario? No problem. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're Fox. Okay, let's go to number one. one. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 5. We did it! We did it! We fucking did it! <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 5 is our community game of the year with a whopping 15,000 votes. Rockstar's Blockbuster was easily one of the most anticipated games in years, and they delivered on the sky high expectations. Three memorable characters, awesome heists, and a massive world to explore. Make it one of the best games of this generation. Congratulations, Rockstar. You did it again. Get the fuck off me! 
I, I thought I was on that guy. Oh. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging. I really fucked him up good, though, huh? Okay, so that, that was a big surprise, right? Yeah, didn't see that one coming. No. I mean, um, but still, it is a really, 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 really good game. Yeah. 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 This is one of the games I, I started playing and I didn't, didn't stop until I was finished. I mean, I really finished it in like two or three days and I never do that. It, for me, it takes ages to finish a game, but this one... Yeah. And let's, let's talk a little bit about what makes this GTA special, because there's so much stuff. But that's always the case with GTA games. They, um, it takes a long time for them to, 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 to yeah. arrive. Yeah. But when but they do, they hit hard. They hit def really hard, yeah. yeah. And I think, you know, GTA, is, it's, not, it's not a game. You can't say GTA is a game. I mean, when newspapers start writing about the game release, you know it's big. Yeah. And, and that's what G GTA is. Yeah. And, um, yeah, let's, let's, I mean, they improved on all the stuff we complained about uh, in the last GTA. This game looks like a next-gen game compared to the, uh, just, yeah. just look, look, look at GTA 4 and compare it to yeah. GTA 5. Yeah. It's so, it looks so much better. Yeah, right? but that's also a bit, um, you know, when you look at the first Call of Duty on Xbox 360 and compare it with, uh, yeah. with Ghost. It's five years. It's yeah. five years it, of knowing the system. But what they achieve with this game on uh, the Xbox 360 and PS3 is amazing, I think. Yeah, but I have to say, okay, we did it with Battlefield. We have to do it now. The online part was completely broken when yeah. it came out. Yeah, yeah, it right? is. So it's, should, it's, should it's, that... Um, <coughs> No, but that, that's a big difference. I mean, G to me, GTA is made for offline. It's made for the story. And the online is not a reason to buy GTA. And even, even now, it finally works. It's still, the online, GTA Online is still not... Uh, yeah, it's, it's fun for like one hour, but it's still not something, to me, it's still not something you play every single day. It doesn't have the... the, 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 the yeah, it doesn't grab you like Call of Duty Online does or Battlefield Online does. It's, it's it's a bit it plain is a different in some game. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you're right. But still, I mean, a lot of people were uh, upset about it being yeah. so broken, yeah. and it, it it took a really long time for them to fix it as yeah. well. But but th those complaints are justified, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I, I think they I mean Rockstar should have delivered on that yeah. one. But yeah, yeah, and they did. But they did, they made they made a smart move by saying, "Hey, GTA Online is coming two weeks later." It's yeah, not, it's not going to be uh, with, uh, it's not going to be there with release. Yeah, and they really treat it like it's a separate game. It's like they say, like, okay, you're getting GTA, you buy in GTA Five, yeah. but you get in GTA Online for free. And I mean, and there there is so much stuff in GTA Offline. Just the the the, the game itself is. Yeah. Did you? It's like five games worth of game. Did, I did, think. did you hundred percent it? No, no, no way. So, do do you think? Uh, GTA is is a good number one. Are you are you happy? It yeah, yeah. I mean, GTA is um, not only because it sold a lot, but it's just it's one of those games that are that define a generation. And um, this game, just like The Last of Us, by the way, coming out so late in the in the in the in the console cycle, and then being this good. So much fun, yeah, it, it deserves to be number one. And um, uh, yeah, this is one of those games people will talk about for a long time. They will say, oh yeah, Xbox 360 and PS3. Oh yeah, I played GTA 5 on that. They, they won't, won't talk about many other games, but GTA 5 will always be named. And uh, yeah, we've, we've said it before with other games as well, but uh, we really need a next gen version of this. Yep. I mean, I mean, not, yep. not, not of course a next gen GTA as well, but that's going to take five years. I mean, we want this game running perfectly on the PS4 and Xbox One, and also on the PC. Can we agree on that? Deal. Yeah. So Rockstar, listen to us. Give us the PC and also Red Dead. Yeah. We or, haven't forgotten about. The... Or we take away your year of t uh, game of the year award. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and, and yeah. I know you don't want that. Yeah. yeah. It is a big deal. It is a big deal, yeah. There, there are no yeah. awards, no. as you can see, but... Uh, yeah. we, we will send you... It's an honor system. A, uh, a, a paint graphic. Yeah. I will draw something in paint, and I will send it to you guys, and you can have it. 
Okay, and I think, yeah, that's the, that's the show. So... Oh man, that's, that's such a boring ending. You're right. Yeah. What okay, just to um, uh, close this thing down, I think we should say subscribe to our channel, stay tuned for more live things, because we will do this kind of stuff more often and hopefully better. Yeah, um, that's just something I want to say. It's like, listen guys, this is the first time we're doing this. Uh, as, as uh, you, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't be apologizing, maybe just two guys sitting in front of a camera. Yeah, no, I mean, the, the thing is, like, okay, the reason we want to do more live stuff is, is, is to get more personally involved, right? We've been making the, uh, the videos for, uh, for, yeah. Almost two years. Almost two years now. And, uh, yeah. yeah, we want to do more stuff. If you, uh, look, if you look carefully, like some of the convention videos of E3 or Gamescom, you can, you can see us somewhere, but it's just, yeah. We, we're not really well, on it's, screen. It, it, it's, it's more it, Terra. It and is, and it, and it should be, and it, and it will be. But this is something extra, right? So, um, yeah, stay tuned for more live stuff. Um, yeah. I think we should definitely do some Let's Play stuff. Yeah, we will. Yeah. We, will. we will start doing uh, Let's Play next year. And uh, we will just uh, give commentary, just the two of us, one of us playing, or maybe playing yeah, we'll, we'll with or against each other, doesn't matter. And just yeah. talk about games, talk about fun stuff yeah. because that's what games are they are fun that's right they are and, fun and we hope to be fun as well sort of we will we are like in the first console cycle of our of our fun of our host uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we are nes Fig. yeah we are we are no not even I, nes I am, I am master system well i i, I want to be master system tim you, you you can be master system oh yeah right <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thanks okay. guys. Well, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, uh, um, hit the subscribe button on YouTube, and uh, yeah, hope to see you guys more often, and hopefully you will see guys, you will see us more often on the live stream. Cheers. <laughs>